higher. See this, this is a problem regarding the sum of a uh, series, okay, finite series, okay. But it is considered uh, have all the terms having the box product and box thing or the greatest integer function, right. So here, first we have to observe one important thing for this particular problem. So let's have a look on that. So let's see that here that each of the term in that function is actually minus 1 by 3, 99 by 100 and all the stuff. So therefore, this series can be easily written as, as if I consider if I consider it as a sin, okay, then uh, we can easily find out that that sum is can be written as that summation of minus 1 by 3 minus n by 100 and this sum goes from that n is equal to 0 to 99 that's it okay so that's actually the important concept and obviously how many terms are there 100 terms are there okay that's it now see that we just now look for this uh, number line graphs and all that whatever you call now here this value is 1 by 3 and always we are subtracting some um, uh, number from it right because n by 100 is always positive okay now if we can easily observe that that this terms can easily be written as in this form that let us go ahead it is minus 1 by 3 minus a okay now if I subtract a and if a is equal to this uh, 2 by 3 value right 0 to 2 by 3 then this value will gives you minus 1. So when a lies between 0 less than equal to a less than equal to 2 by 3 and if I go ahead more if I multiply subtract little bit extra of 2 by 3 so then it gives you minus 2 so that gives you 2 by 3 less than equal to a less than equal less than equal to we can go ahead and see that it's 5 by 3 so that's it okay now here we have to observe that that how this n value will vary right then only we can divide this uh, series right so that's why our aim is to calculate i just delete that because that to maintain that equality okay so now here a is equal to n by 100 so we need to calculate that what is the value of n so that n by 100 equal to 2 by 3 right so that's it so here i consider that uh, a is equal to 2 by 3 that imply that n by 100 is equal to 2 by 3. That imply that n is equal to 200 by 3. So that gives you approximately equal to 66.6. .6. And we consider that a is equal to 5 by 3. So if I consider that, that's imply that n by 100 is equal to 5 by 3 and that's imply that n is equal to 500 by 3. That imply that uh, n is equal to actually 166.6, okay? Approximately, you can go ahead and all the stuff, okay? So therefore, we can easily understand that final value of this Case. So that's imply that minus 1 by 3 minus n by 100 will be equal to minus 1 if n lies between 0 less than equal to n less than equal to 66 equal to minus 2 if it is lies between 67 less than equal to n less than equal to 166. So that's now division and everything we made. So obviously, we, we can easily divide the summation between 0 to 66 because value is changing again from 66 to 166, right? So here is 99. So this summation now we can apply on that. Summation n is equal to 0 to 66 minus 1 by 3 minus n by 100 plus 67 to 99 the same thing minus 1 by 3 minus n by 100 now observe carefully that the sum of first two right that gives you actually uh, 66 7 terms is there multiplied by minus 1 and here 
how with 66 term because it's starting from 0 now 67 to 99 how many terms are there so in that case we'll have that it is 99 minus 67 that is 32 plus 1 that is 33 so therefore we'll get that we'll have 33 terms multiplied by minus 2 because this value is get minus 2 so if I calculate we'll get minus 67 and minus 66 so that gives you minus 133 so that's why for this particular problem obviously the final sum is option C and that gives you that minus 133 so that's the problem. So here, the basic thing is that understanding this part, okay, the remaining is very straightforward. So let's have a clear look on the solution. Hope that clears your problem. Thank you.